I buy an apartment now? Fully furnished, stamp duty exempt, help to buy available from £195,000. Visit galliardhomes.com. Terms and conditions apply. Nick Ferrari at breakfast on LBC. Call 0345 6060 973. Let's pick up on the romantic aspect of working from home as the drivers to get you to work from your place of work. I say again, I know many of you have continued working uh, in a moment because I want to come back to the conversation we had uh, actually in the first hour of the show with Housing Secretary Robert Jenrick. Now, Mr Jenrick was coming on to talk about the billions of pounds that are being made available for housing development, building what are called affordable homes. When you hear the money involved, I'll leave you to decide whether you think they're affordable. But rather ignoring a story that LBC really came across almost semi-exclusively here and has certainly continued to promote, which is the scandal of around three million of you, in many instances stuck in homes that you've spent your life savings buying, trying to buy, and they are now completely worthless. My colleague LBC's Rachel Venables is very close to this story and picks up on that conversation and developments from it. Rachel. Nick, earlier this morning you spoke to Secretary of State for Housing Robert Jenrick. He wanted to talk about a new £12 billion fund for building new affordable homes, but you put to him questions about the current cladding crisis, which we've been hearing has trapped up to 3 million leasehold flat owners in homes that are worthless, unsellable and which could be fire traps. Now, the government has put aside £1.6 billion to remove dangerous cladding from high-rise buildings but according to their own estimations that is nowhere near enough you're leaving people in effectively fire traps but you're building new homes now talk to me about the logic of that secretary of state well i think it's extremely important to be investing in new social I think it's extremely and affordable important homes to so i think you agree with that actually, I don't know about but we're you, also but I think we're it's quite also important that we don't have another greenfield well, don't you well, I do think that that's right. why so we're why working are we extremely hard to alleviate that. So why are we spending £12 on building new homes when we've got dangerous ones still in existence? For the second time, explain the logic of that, if you would, Secretary of State. Well, because this isn't just about government investment. We, we are investing a significant amount of money to help get the process uh, going faster than it is today. But there's also other routes in which this is being funded. Now, listening to your interview earlier was Natasha, a leaseholder in a flat in Southampton. Her building, Empire View, is almost entirely wrapped in dangerous HPL cladding. She doesn't know yet how much it's going to cost to remove, but she knows bills for similar works are run up to £100,000 per flat. I, I couldn't pay it. We could not pay that bill. Um, and I would go bankrupt. Um, and I'm a, a qualified solicitor. Um, so, and obviously we can't practice if we've um, been declared bankrupt, so I would lose my home, um, I'd lose any chance of a future, and I'd lose my career. Um, it would be absolutely devastating. Well, Nick, with that in mind, this was her reaction to your interview with Robert Jenrick. Absolutely offensive. Um, Robert Jenrick continues to fund, um, keep pumping money into the developers and uh, leaving us in a state of absolute misery. Um, you know, 1.6 billion is not sufficient um, by any, you know, any assessment of the, the problem has said minimum 3 billion up to 30 billion. Um, it just isn't enough. Um, and whilst he continues to to pump money into developers that helped cause this issue um, and fails to acknowledge that the government regulations, you know, were wrong. You know, it, it's offensive. It's absolutely offensive and really, really upsetting for us. Well, there's no doubt the pressure, I think, is building on the government over this issue. To remind you of the numbers, £1.6 billion has been put forward to remove dangerous cladding. The government estimations at least £3 billion, up to possibly £30 billion. That's their own estimate, as I put to him, isn't it? £3 billion to £3.5 billion. And that's just for buildings over 18 metres high. That's just for the high-rise buildings. When you include lower buildings as well, it could be between £15 and £30 billion. And a lot of that pressure seems to be falling on, on people like Natasha, the leaseholders who saved that whole lives to, to buy a flat. Rachel Venables reporting, uh, we know from the correspondence that I get, and even more so my colleague Rachel gets, how many of you are affected by this? And, and I've had emails, probably Rachel, you have too. Please don't let this go, I assure you. We shan't indeed, we'll talk about it. Someone else is quite. Rachel, thanks for your report. We caught with Ed in Mile End. Ed, this touches, uh, this affects you, does it? Good morning. It does indeed. Hi there, Nick, you all right? Hello, matey, um, yes. Tell me hello. your story, if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, basically, I'm in a flat that's less than eight years old, yep. and we found out about three months ago that it's, um, it's got, you know, flammable issues. Uh, we're looking at a bit of cladding, potential insulation, and maybe a couple of other issues. Yeah. Um, and I think my, my, my question for Robert Jenrick is basically, you're proposing to build new flats, but, but my flat is less than eight years old. Yes. Um, and and I'm, I'm just deeply worried that how is he going to, you know, reassure us that the new flats they're going to build are going to be safe? 
Um, you know, I think that really they need to be concentrated on cleaning up the mess they've already created. Well, I, um, in fairness, I mean, not all of it, some of it is of um, previous government's creation. A lot of it is private developers, but, but they have a duty of care as a government, I would argue, for the safety of everybody, all their citizens. That's what we pay yeah, all these absolutely. taxes for. Uh, now, are you trying to sell on or you just want it safer for you and your partner um, or family? I mean, I'd like it safer. Um, I think I've got to the point in my life now where, you know, I'm starting to think about settling down, yeah. um, you know, maybe getting somewhere I can have, you know, kids. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I'm but basically... you know, you, yours is probably unsaleable at the moment. You realise Oh, that. it's completely... Yeah, I absolutely know that. Yeah, it's totally unsaleable. And, and you know, we're looking, looking at several years before, you know, our problems might be fixed. And also... You know, we're potentially looking at being bankrupted by paying for our cladding. Um, have you had an so, estimate? Yeah, it was. So we we don't have, we don't have any idea. We've heard figures ranging anywhere from five thousand pounds up to seventy eight thousand. We just don't don't have a clue, mm. um, and we're, we're not getting any of the information that we need. And I don't want to know the name, but this this is I assume privately owned. Is it this development? It's it's a housing association, um, oh. and it's yeah. We I only own forty percent ah, of my right. flat, oh, but. Gosh. Uh, we're looking at potentially paying up to 100% of the, the cladding costs. Ed, stay listening to this programme. It's something we are not going to let go. It is an utter scandal, and that is why I found it extraordinary that the government would be lauding £12 billion. As you rightly say, Ed, when there is a mess, not all of their creation, certainly not at all of this government's creation, but that's the role, sadly, that's, uh, that's the job you sign up for if you decide to go and become the government uh, that needs tidying up. Ed, uh, do stay in touch. Thank you.